We first talked about the hydrogen-powered Corolla Sport almost a year ago on this channel when Toyota first showed it off. It was super exciting and they teased us with the sound clip of what she sounds like. Well, Toyota is still hard at work with making their hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine a reality. Earlier this month, Toyota entered its hydrogen-powered GR Yaris concept in a special demonstration run during the ninth round of the World Rally Championship in Belgium. Now, this little car is running a three-cylinder turbo engine that runs on pure hydrogen. And with this latest run, this was the first time that Toyota has ever taken an underdevelopment hydrogen engine vehicle on public roads outside of Japan. Now, on the second day of the rally, Toyota's president and CEO Akio Toyodakot was behind the wheel of the hydrogen-powered GR Yaris concept for this special stage. Now, they didn't physically compete in the rally stage against other cars. The car was used as a test car that ran ahead of the safety car, sent out to confirm stage safety before the start of the special stage 11. Now, on this special stage, Toyota was accompanied by the four-time world rally champion Yua Kankunen. Hopefully, I'm, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, after this race, when Toyota spoke to media, he said, We were able to let WRC fans hear the exhaust sound of an hydrogen engine. Motorsports is really a sport, and I believe people get excited because sports stimulates our five senses, and that's why I want to keep this engine's vibration and exhaust sound in motorsports. While we are trying to achieve carbon neutrality, we still want to keep the excitement, and I could not agree with this man anymore true words of a genius and all the true petrol heads and all the true petrol heads I have following this channel also agrees with this man's point. Now this isn't the first race Toyota has completed with their hydrogen powered cars. This Corolla Sport which features the same power plant competed in the 2022 Fuji Super 24 hour race and it completed 478 laps at the event. Now, at this event, Toyota managed to beat their own time from last year. So, this year, on the one year anniversary of the car's debut, Sasaki turned in a lap time of 1 minute 58.8 seconds during the first leg of qualifying, which was over 5 seconds faster than the car's best lap time in the year before. Which shows how much Toyota has progressed with this technology in only one year. Now I do have a special treat for you guys, I found a full lap with sound of this thing going around the track. So if you wanted how this thing sounds racing around Fuji, here's some sound clips for you from the actual race. And it actually sounds really quite cool. <laughs> This is awesome and it makes me super excited for the future. With a massive company like Toyota behind the push for hydrogen, it's bound to become a reality. And the fact that they improved on themselves so much over the last year also speaks volumes. Remember, 5 seconds around a track is a whole lot. And it's not just big companies, we've got countries backing hydrogen at the moment. Germany believes this is the fuel of the future and I feel like more and more countries will follow suit. Anyways, I just want to say thanks to Mr. Toyota. You are keeping my dreams of a future with cars that vibrate and make noise alive. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys agree with this? Do you like this concept? I like it a hell of a lot. And if you know of any other really cool hydrogen powered cars that is like kind of new, let me know down below so I can go check them out because like, yeah, this really interests me. So yes, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more car related content. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers. Though. <laughs>